Hey, welcome to laundry day. I just finished a load and I'm getting ready to hang them up in my closet. I wanted to show you how to do that today. So I've got my supplies ready. I've got my hangers and I've got my clothes. I like to hang up my clothes on my bed because I can lay them flat and get them how I need them to be before I put them on a hanger. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I'm going to start, found a, a t-shirt right here. So I'm going to go ahead and move this out of the way. I'm going to go ahead and lay this flat. All right, I've got my hanger. And I'm just going to gently put it in the neck. I don't want to stretch the neck out. And one thing I do want to talk to you about is I'm always going to have my hangers facing one way when I do it. That way, when I put them in the closet, they're going to go in really nicely. All right, my next thing I have is a button-up shirt. Now, the trick with these shirts is that if I just hang it up like my t-shirt, there's a chance it could fall off the hanger and I don't want that to happen. So I'm gonna make sure that this stays nice in my closet. So I'm going to do up just one button, not all of them, but just one. So I'm gonna do up that button. And now I don't have to worry about this shirt falling off in my closet. Okay, ooh. I just found a jacket. This should be interesting because it has a zipper on it. Once again, look, my hangers are both facing the same way. So they're gonna hang up really nicely. Okay, I'm gonna lay my jacket flat just like the other shirts. I'm gonna put my hanger in one sleeve. Then I'm going to put it in the other sleeve. Oh, there's a plastic bag there. All right, and now I've got to zip it up. Zippers can be real tricky. The important thing with doing a zipper is to just take your time and be careful. So I'm gonna get that zipper right in there, kind of hold it at the bottom and zip it up. And now I don't have to worry about my jacket falling down in my closet. Now I've got a pair of pants right here. Now a lot of people fold their pants but I'm kind of a weirdo and I like to hang mine up. And I've got a couple of different hangers I could use. Um, one is you could just use a normal clothing hanger. So once again, make sure it's facing the same way as the other ones are. Okay, I'm just gonna fold my pants in half. Make sure that they are nice, nice and flat against each other. I'm gonna push them through the hanger. And just do a quick little check, make sure that they're not um, that they're not wrinkly on the hanger. Sometimes they can get a little wrinkly when you put them on. They're lined up right. And I've got my pants hung up. This right here is a pant hanger. This is what I usually use to hang up my pants. So if you have any of these at home, you just bend the hanger down so you can open this. And then this is the fun part. Lay your pants flat like you did with all your shirts. Make sure my hanger's facing the right way. And kind of wrap it around the waistband. And ta-da, my pants are nice and hung up. All right, it's time to put my clothes away. Now everyone kind of likes to put their clothes away in different ways, but I organize mine by pants. And then I organize my shirts kind of by color. And then I have all my exercise clothes in the back. So time for me to put these away. Okay, I've got my pants right here. I want to make sure if you look up here at the top, all my hangers are facing the same way. When they face the same way and face in this way, it's easy to get your clothes off and on of the rack. Okay, so I've got another pair of pants. I'm going to put it right next to its neighbor right here. All right, I've got my jacket. Let's see, where are my grays? Here they are. I make sure that they're not too smashed in there too. When clothes are smashed up, they can get wrinkly. All right, I've got my button up shirt. There's some clothes that are kind of red. And lastly, I've got my green t-shirt. Let's see here. I've got some greens right here. All done, my clothes are gonna stay wrinkle-free and ready to wear. Thanks for watching.